I know you might already have been confusing, and to be honest, this is the hardest lecture of this semester, and those are some advanced skills of Tableau, so those are very, very powerful but complicated. So you may need to spend more time to fully understand what I am talking here. Okay, so let's also talk about some advanced um, uh, feature of the LOD. So level of detail. Level of detail is really, really very important feature in Tableau. And if you cannot use well of the level of detail or if you don't understand well of the aggregations, level of the details, calculations, so you may make some mistakes and you, will, you, you even don't realize that. Okay, so LOD and also filters. So um, there are some orders between LOD and also filters. So uh, first, ex exclude and also include will always generate mirrors. Okay, so result will always generate mirrors. Uh, fixed, depending on the situation, can be generate can generate dimensions or mirrors. Okay, for fixed. And also one thing that is important in fixed is that fixed calculation always happen before the dimension filters. Okay, so any field on the shelf will be ignored. So we just saw an example earlier. So those are different type of the filters. Uh, so the, the, the first level is extract filters. So that means when you extract data and you can select what data will be extracted. And when you bring the data into the Tableau and you can also define a source filter, so that will be applied the secondly. So the order is that is top level and also that is the lowest level. And next, you can also uh, apply a context filter. So that context filter, filter we didn't talk that one. So that is uh, when you create filter, you right click and you can convert that filter into a context filter that will be applied to all the sheet. Okay, all the sheet. And this is where the fixed calculation, fixed uh, level of detail will be applied. Next, Tableau will use the dimension filters. Next, we will use the include, exclude. And next, the mirror filters will be uh, taken into place. And then lastly, will be the table calculate filters. Okay, so let's see one example. So to save time, I'm not going to show the demos, but I think you have everything you need if you want to do the demos on your side. So here we are, uh, this is a fixed um, uh, level of detail. So that means that we are calculating the price. And now you can see curly bracket. Remember that without uh, defining any dimensions, so this is a table scope. Okay, table scope and it is a fixed. Okay, so that is fixed. So that means we calculate the entire price of all the diamonds. Okay, and we use ATTR because we want to get uh, the single value, not aggregated, which still is aggregation functions. And next, we are using the sum of the price divided by the total price. Okay, so for example, we have price that is 5, 10 and also 15 okay and this one will always be um, 30 okay so this one will always be 30 because that is table scope and for example if this one is a, the rate of the GIA and if this is the rate of HRD and if I apply sum so sum of the GRA will be 15 and the sum of the H um, HRD will also be 15 Okay, so that's the difference between this one and also this one. So now we apply that one to this chart. Okay, and remember we should have three filters or three readers. So now if we are using a filter, which is a dimensional filters, no matter if you check this one or not, the values will still be the same. Okay, the values will still be the same. So for example, the value, the sum of G is 15, the sum of H is also 15. 
suppose, and the sum of the IGI is 10. OK, so in this case, the total will be 40. OK, so the percentage for this one will be this. OK, and the percentage of this one is also this. The percentage of this one will be 10 divided by 40. And no matter whether or not you check this or not, the percentage for the others will never change. OK, so then, so that is how the fixed will be applied before the dimension filters. OK, we also mentioned the LOD and aggregations. So the fixed computer values using the specific dimensions without reference to the views LOD. So if the result of the fixed is more granular than the view, the value will be aggregated to create the view. OK, if the dimension is less granular, the view will be replicated to create the view. OK, and if the dimensions are disjoint so that the dimension in the fixed and also dimension in the view are disjoint, the values will be aggregated at the table scope. OK, so that will be aggregated at the table scope. Include results are always below the view LOD and will be aggregated in the view. And exclude is the results are always above the views LOD and will be replicated in the view. OK, so that sounds like very confusing. OK, uh, so let's see this example. OK, uh, so here, this one, the I'm using the average price per rate fixed. So that is fixed as a per rate colon and average price. OK, so now if I bring this one into this view where we can see rate and also clarities. And in this case, we know that the fixed is based on rate and in the view we are based on rate and clarity. So that's less granular than a view. So that's why you can see the price, average price are replicated. And in this case, OK, um, I'm using a fixed where I'm using the reader and also price and also uh, clarity, colon and also average price. OK, so that's what this bar is. And in this case, I bring that one to this view and the view is using clarity and a fix is based on clarity per reader per clarity. In this case, fix is more granular than the view. So the results are aggregated. OK, so results are aggregated. And in this case, I'm using a fixed per reader OK, average price and I bring the view to the clarity. So this will be the disjoint um, uh, scenario. So now there's only one price. The price is this one. So that is at the table scope. OK, so that we calculate average price. And this is the exclude function uh, scenario. So here I think I use the exclude reader and I bring this one to this reader per clarity. OK, so now you can see that the reader has been ignored. So we just replicate uh, all the average prices for per clarity. OK, and for this include, OK, which actually is similar in this case. So in this include, I said include reader and I bring this one to clarity. So that will be aggregated to the clarity level because that is per clarity per reader. OK, and, and now in the views, I only have clarity, a clarity. So that is aggregated to the clarity level. And this just an example that what the average price look like per clarity. So you can see they are all different. OK, again, so it is very important to understand LOD and also aggregation. Otherwise, you may make mistakes in, in Tableau. 
And finally, the LOD can be nested. OK, so we will not use that one in, in the lab, but just let you know that the LOD can be nested. And the content for the inner circle is defined by its parent. So basically, if the inner calculation is more aggregated than the outliers, the inner result will be replicated to the result. If the inner calculation is more granular than the outliers, the result will be aggregated by the outlier, by the outer, uh, by the outer uh, uh, nest LOD. OK, again, let's just see one example. So here, the inner is average price per rater per clarity. So that is fixed. OK, rater uh, clarity. OK, and colon average price. So that is inner. The outer. OK, and the outer is fixed. So that's the table level. OK, so the outer is fixed. That is the table level. So now you can think, so which uh, is outer granular or is the inner granular? OK, so in this case, so in this case, the outer is more granular. So the inner circle are more aggregated than the granular so that inner results are replicated to the outer because the outer is at the table level. 